So before we get in there, let's see what this is. On so House of Shame that I love so much. It says <clears throat> watch reporter go reporter go undercover as elderly granny to investigate plumber. These guys really love what they are doing. They think they're in a movie. They think their life is a movie. They'll be going undercover like they are spies and agents. And they don't really be doing all these things like trying to catch the bad guy or something. All you're doing is just catching someone that is not a good worker. <laughs> okay. It says, uh, inside the show where all the covers investigate claims in Tennessee repair pond. Refer my account thousands of dollars from unsuspecting elderly residents. Reporter Alyssa Graham enlists the help of Emmy winning makeup artist art Ben Adams to transform her into a singer. Of course, it has to be Lisa, can't be anybody else. <laughs> I think she's re she, she really thinks she's a spy. No, she's been thinking she's a spy before she turned herself into an elderly lady. She's been thinking she was a spy since she started. Saying things like, oh yeah, I'm actually with Inside Edition and my name is Lisa Guerrero. <laughs> Just to say, why are you, why are you trying to rip me off? <laughs> oh my god, me goes on a date with a boyfriend. Boyfriend, remove mask. Hi, I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. Hey. Yeah, hey, I'm not thinking to talk to her. I can never catch her. Oh. <laughs> Only Lisa Guerrero would do that. Of course she would. She thinks the big review was so cool. But the guy was just confused. <laughs> oh my god, okay, let's see. Oh man. Scammer. <coughs> Thief. Crook. Predator. Who are all these Predator. people talking about? This guy. His name is Glenn Harris. And they all say he's ripped them off in shoddy home improvement jobs. I think he targets the elderly or anyone who he thinks is vulnerable. His main clients? Oh. Senior citizens like these. He's just so Jason Setfin's mother, Ellen, hired Harris to fix a simple problem with the toilet. But once he got to work, Setfin says Harris conned his mom out of thousands of dollars for home repair jobs he says she didn't even need. My mom took out a $50,000 home equity loan. $50,000. $50,000. What? What am I listening to? To pay for what? So if it was on toilet, I want to take it back, but I don't know. My computer is so slow. I want to take it back because I gotta hear that again. Fifty, okay, let's see. Fifty thousand dollars to repair what again? Other Ellen hired Harris to fix a simple problem with the toilet. Oh, simple. Fifty thousand dollars for a simple problem with the toilet. But once he got to work, Sutton says Harris conned his mom out of thousands of dollars for. If she knew that it was gonna be, I mean, she she probably didn't know at that time that it was supposed to be simple until someone told her that yeah, you just got conned because like there's no way no person that if someone knew that it was gonna be simple, they wouldn't have dropped like fifty like that. For home repair jobs, he says she oh, didn't shit. even need. Yeah, my mom took out a fifty k. All you have to do is get out of the get out of that city, bro. There's no point. Go to another city and rip more people off. Just kidding. Fifty thousand dollar home equity loan because he wanted cash on everything. Oh on everything. my goodness! Now listen to how much money these folks say they were ripped off. Oh, twelve k, four k, fifty seven k. How do you believe someone? Is, how do you believe someone that was fifty seven k for? I gotta know all their fixes. That's the only way I can. Uh, like I gotta know what. The guy wanted to fix for them that they really believe that something is that much for 57k. Man, what is it? What are they? You, what? How much are these people worth? Eleven thousand dollars. Four thousand five hundred. Fifty-seven thousand dollars. Fifty-seven thousand dollars. Eight thousand five hundred. That's the one. That's the one with the tanky. Eight thousand five. Twelve thousand five hundred. To see firsthand how Harris treats his elderly customers, I enlisted the help of Emmy winning Hollywood makeup artist Ben Adams. With Emmy winning, man, you could have gone to a local person and they would have still done the same thing. With Adam's skill and this state of the art mask, you I really think it's state of the art. I don't know, man. It really just looks like a mask than it looks like a person. Transformed into a granny. Go ahead and talk. To make it look and sound right. I need some help. He had to actually glue my lips into the mask. 
some green granny glasses and a walker, and I was ready to go. She really enjoys doing this, man. She really enjoys it. <laughs> Look at me before and me. after. It's time for undercover granny. Ooh. My next step was renting a home call, and no. rigging it. Don't call that beautiful unless you call you creep. <laughs> Honestly. It with hidden cameras. <clears throat> then we deliberately made a leak in the water heater. I called Glenn Harris to make an appointment. Wait, if it's so... Wait, I'm so confused. If it's so out in the open, what's the point of making all this? Or is it, oh, they just want to catch him in the act with, like, cameras and stuff? I mean, that would be smart, but, like, if it's so out there in the open, I mean, I, they might as well just report him. You know? Like, I don't know if any of this is... I don't know if any of this is point, if any of this makes any sense. And he told me he'd be there at 9 a.m. the next morning. What he didn't know? We had gathered many of his angry customers in a van parked just down the block. They all waited inside for the big surprise we were about to spring on him. The man's evil. He has no conscience. The only problem? Harris didn't come. He's late. So we waited and waited and waited. What's it like being in that mask for so long? I'm feeling a little claustrophobic. Wait, really? thing for Glenn Harris to, really? to show up is something these folks are all too familiar with. <laughs> He's a pathological liar. This is uh, par for the course for this slime ball. So after four hours of waiting, even these folks looking for justice had had enough. Mm. I'd like to use my cane. <laughs> Eventually, we reached Harris, and he told me... I mean, what do you expect when the guy has so much money and, like... <clears throat> they do that so much money from all these people he ripped off, like... What do you expect? What's the point? I'm so confused to what the point of him coming, like him coming late, him coming, like, God, he got so much money to, he has so much of that clients to rip off, like, he got all that, he got all that people to, he got all that people to meet, not only you. Me, so. he'd gotten tied up, but promised to be there the next morning. Alas, mm. when morning came, he blew us off again. This guy's unbelievable. Three days in a row, he stood us up. We've been waiting three days to find this guy, and he hasn't showed up. So now we're going to find him. Oh. Since he wouldn't come to our house, we'll we to went to his. Hey, privacy. That's where he lives. What are we filming? Are you Glenn? Yes, I am. Come on over, Glenn. Okay. Uh, I really wanted to see... I really wanted to see how they would have worked with the whole thing. The guy didn't give a fuck when he probably was telling them that, think about it, when he was probably telling them that, yeah, I cannot, I can come to your house and do your repairs. The dude was probably like half asleep, bro. The guy forgot. After making 54k, like, bro, I'll be lazy too. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Uh -huh. I've been waiting for you for three days. You were okay. supposed to come over and do some plumbing for me. Who uh, who are you? Of course he doesn't know who you are. That $54 is like really making him feel good. Look at that house, man. Look at that house. Well. I don't know. She really thinks she's a spy. Look at that. Oh my God. She really thinks she's in a movie. Like... This guy ripped off so much people and it, it hurts. And this woman is just acting like this is a movie. Like she's acting like she's playing games. Who you are? I'll tell you who I am. Okay. Even if he does it, like you think he's gonna know who you are even if you remove your mask. Like what? She thinks she's a Batman, bro. I'm actually not a little old lady. No one thought you were a little old lady. Okay. My name's Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition, and I'd like to know if you're bilking elderly people in this community for thousands of dollars. No, Damn, what a straight and direct question. Are you cheating me? Like, this is what every time I watch this woman, it's always a direct, uh, how will I say it? It's always a direct, um, incriminate yourself question, incriminating question. Are you cheating people? Like, who 
who's gonna say yes? <laughs> the other girl will be like, no, I'm not cheating them. I that's how much it is. Fifty four dollars just to fix a toilet. Yeah, that's how much it is. What do you mean I'm cheating them? And I'm not. Sir, I've talked to numerous people mm -hmm. who claim that you have been ripping them off. I haven't been. No, I have not. Glenn Harris denies all the allegations and insists he operates above board. Sir, do you have anything at all to say to the victims that feel that you owe them a lot of money? I don't have any victims that, 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 that I owe money to. How about 10? I don't. Just try telling that to these folks. Oh, not even 10. Four plus three. You know what I'm folks, stop what you're doing. Stop it. Now, I, this doesn't make any sense. Stop it! Stop! Stop what you're doing! Stop! Like, he would stop. He just made sixty fifty four out of that guy. He made sixty four out of that guy. You, who's gonna stop that? Except you want to make him stop. You have to force him to stop. You can't say someone to stop doing something bad when they are enjoying the, what they are doing. To them, it's like. It's it's like a drug. This guy is making money off you guys, and you, that, that's how you're gonna stop him. You want to make him stop? Get authorities involved. You want to make him stop? Force his hand. You want to make him stop? Tell, show people on the news. Show. I mean, this is a good way to expose the guy. You want to make him stop? Buy, destroy his business. You gotta force his hand. <laughs> this is so weak. This is so weak. And that's how they go. That's how they come about it. Like, yeah, you gotta stop. Stop what you're doing. You're hurting people. Like, okay, you're gonna know that, but you're gonna know that the guy is not a good person. But what about the other, the millions of other elderly people that are gonna be hurt by this guy? You gotta force his hand. That's it. You gotta force his hand. I mean, you gotta like destroy his business or something. You have no other choice. He's not gonna care about your about your feelings and you should definitely not care about his feelings.